All right, what is going on guys? Joe here from Make Athletics, back again with another commentary. This is going to be a full body workout from my current four day full body split. And on this specific day, my main movement was a squat. So this is actually the beginning, the first day of phase two of the current program I'm doing through my coach. And it's one of those things where I'm really able to get in the gym, and know exactly what I'm trying to do and get accomplished that day rather than having to do my own programming, which a lot of you guys ask me about, like, Joe, why don't you do your own programming? I have. This is the first time I've ever had a coach in my entire life. But the big thing I'm finding is being that it's a coach that I relate with and someone I actually know, we can kind of go back and forth and collaborate on ideas. But also then I do have that outside accountability and someone doing the thinking side of things for me and I can go more execute and focus on the execution side of things rather than actually doing more thinking and kind of second guessing myself. So that is really the best sort of benefit I found to have having a coach compared to when I didn't and it allows me, a good coach should allow you to do the things you enjoy and still have the greatest amount of success from the results you're after as well. So Anyways, guys, moving into my working sets for the day, I had three sets of five reps at um, different percentages of my one rep max, and that's also something new to me. I normally have my clients go off of an RPE scale or reps in reserve scale, and I find that to be a little bit easier than percentages, um, especially based on the accommodation it allows you to have, whether you're feeling good that day or feeling bad. Um, but I am just trusting my coach, and we're going to go with this and continue with it and um, see how things go from there. But um, I do have experience doing a little bit of both, um, but I definitely prefer, from a coaching standpoint, the RPE side of things. And I think it's a little bit more overall beneficial when it comes to adapting based on that specific day and how you're feeling on that specific day. But kind of uh, playing devil's advocate here because I'm literally doing a percentage-based program at the moment. So anyways, um, I'll talk about that in another video if you guys want or maybe a podcast topic. But um, going into my top set here, which was 310 um, for five reps. All right, so just for the record, so I know my math's right, 275 right here, 295 plus 10s on each side, 305, 310. It's the five and it's the two and a half. I think that's correct. Come on. This is today's top set. So one thing I want to talk about guys and something that a lot of people I think wonder about is why you don't just go for as much weight as you possibly can, no matter what the rep range is on every single set. And the thing you need to realize about building strength is that yes, muscle mass and the amount of muscle mass you have has a direct correlation to this. But the thing you need to understand is strength, powerlifting specific movements, squats, bench, and deadlifts, and getting stronger at any specific movement is as much about building muscle as it is about a neural adaption. And what I mean by that is the actual motor pattern that you're doing needs to become more efficient over time as well as you get stronger for you to breed new PRs and new gains essentially. So my point is it's not always just about I need more muscle to then be able to exert more force and put more weight up and hit new PRs. A lot of times people don't understand that their technique and the efficiency of the movement itself can have a huge effect on your total strength because if you can move the bar from point A to point B more effectively, you're going to have a much better time progressing with muscle mass in mind and with that neural adaption in mind than if you're having a baseline of improper form and you have sloppy technique, which is going to then hamper your ability to keep making progress when you do hit that envelope or that plateau point, which everyone does, especially once you've made a good amount of progress. And that is where you need to refine those little details. And that's why taking things seriously on every single set, whether it's the warm up set, whether it's your top set, and doing everything the exact same is so, so important because it ingrains those motor patterns, which are so beneficial, 
in your head and in your body so that when you step under that bar, things feel supernatural every single time you do them. That is why it's so important to not only keep the reps good, smooth, focused, technique oriented and muscle engagement oriented, but that is why it's also important to not push yourself too far or too much every single session. It's gonna lead to burnout, you're gonna eventually get hurt because you're pushing yourself so far and the number one way to continue making progress and the number one free supplement out there, I guess you could say besides sleep, would be staying injury free. And if you can do that, you are gonna make a ton, ton more progress than getting hurt along the way because you thought pushing it super hard was a good idea. I'll leave you guys with that. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.